Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Poller. In this video, I'm going to be discussing a respiration experiment using yeast cells. So let's review some information about the process of cellular respiration. So first, uh, we are going to be testing how temperature levels can change the rate of cellular respiration. Let's review the chemical equation for respiration. We have C6H12O6 plus 6O2 produces 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus ATP. Now the word equation for this reveals the reactants are glucose plus oxygen, the products are carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. Now, how are we going to test how different temperature levels can change the rate of respiration? We are going to change the temperature of water inside of this test tube. We're going to run three different temperature trials, cold water, medium temperature water, and warm water. Our dependent variable will be the number of bubbles produced by the yeast. The bubbles will be given off by the tip of the pipette right here. More bubbles means that the yeast are producing more CO2. They're carrying out respiration at a much faster rate. Here's video of this experiment. Now what you're seeing is we have a normal plastic pipette and uh, we see a bubble that just released from that pipette. The bubble that's being released is carbon dioxide, which is being produced by yeast cells as they carry out the process of cellular respiration. Now, a little bit more about the setup of this experiment. We need some metal nuts in order to weight down the pipette so that it's uh, staying submerged under the water. And then we have a solution of sucrose, or apple juice can be used too, yeast and water. And when we mix the yeast, the sugar, and the water, the yeast are going to start to use that sugar as food to carry out the process of cellular respiration they're producing carbon dioxide. So as that carbon dioxide is made, there's more and more of it inside of that plastic pipette. So it's going to push out of the top, the tip of the tube, and we see bubbles being released. Again, if we see a larger number of bubbles, this means that the yeast are producing more CO2. So that means we have a faster rate of respiration. If the bubbles are being produced more slowly, that means that the yeast are making less carbon dioxide, and it means that the rate of respiration is much slower. So again, uh, I will be posting sample and class data sets uh, using my Twitter account, which you can find right here. Uh, again, everybody, thanks for watching. You can always find more of my videos by uh, looking up my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.